Hi everyone, in this video lecture, I'll explain the landmarks present on tooth surfaces. First, I'll provide you the definition of landmark, followed by the demonstration of those landmark on a picture or model. Let's begin with the first landmark that is a cusp. A cusp is a pronounced elevation or mound present on the occlusal surface of a tooth. This one is a premolar. Here you can see there's an elevation or mound on the occlusal surface. This is a one elevation. So this is a one cusp. Here and this one is a buccal surface. There's another elevation or mound on the lingual or palatal surface. So this one is a is a lingual cusp. So this one is a lingual cusp. This one is a molar. Here you can see these are the three elevation or mounds. One two and three the smallest one so I'll shade it for you one two and three so these are the three buckle cusps now the lingual cusps so these are the two elevation one rounded elevations or mounds one and two so these are the two lingual cusps so there are five cusps one two three three buckle and two lingual cusps singulum a bulbous convexity on the lingual surface near the cervical third of an anterior tooth. This is a cingulum. This is a bulbous convexity at the cervical third. This convexity is the cingulum. Just present on all the anterior teeth. Tubercle is a small elevation on the crown surface due to the extra formation of enamel. Here, this is a clinical picture. You can see tubercle on the maxillary lateral incisor. So this is a tubercle. This is a tubercle. You can compare it with the contralateral side. Here, the, max, the palatal surface of the maxillary lateral incisor is smooth. Mammalons, these are the rounded projections found on the incisal surfaces of newly erupted teeth. In this clinical picture, you can see newly erupted permanent mandibular incisors. On the incisal surface, you can see these projections that are called as mammalons. So these are the projections called mammalons. Ridge is a linear elevation present on the surface of a tooth. There are numerous type of ridges, for example marginal ridges that are present on the mesial and distal margins of lingual surface of anterior teeth and occlusal surface of posterior teeth. This is an anterior tooth. This is a lingual surface. Here you can see these are the marginal ridges. So these are the marginal ridge. This is one marginal ridge. And this is another marginal ridge. So these ridges are also named. These marginal ridges are named according to the location. For example, this one is present on the mesial side, on the lingual surface of the mesial side. So this is known as the mesial marginal ridge 
and this ridge that is present on the lingual surface of the distal surface is known as the distal marginal ridge. Similarly, this one is a molar. Here you can see this is a ridge. This one is a marginal ridge. Similarly, this ridge is a marginal ridge. These ridges are also named according to the location. For example, this one is the mesial surface. So this ridge is known as the mesial marginal ridge and this ridge is known as the distal marginal ridge. Triangular ridge descend from the cusp tips of posterior teeth towards the central part of the occlusal surfaces. Uh, this is a premolar. In this premolar you can see this ridge that is descending from the cusp tip towards the center of the occlusal surface. From the cusp tip towards the center of the occlusal surface. There's another ridge descending from the cusp tip towards the center from the palatal cusp towards the center. So this is another ridge. These ridges are named according to the cusp from which they belong. For example, this one is the buccal triangular ridge and this ridge is called as the palatal triangular ridge or in case of lower it will be known as the lingual triangular ridge. So uh, they are known, these are known, uh, these ridges are known as triangular ridges because these are the two sides, the slopes, they resemble the sides of the triangle, two sides of the triangle. For example, one side is this, another side, this is another side of the triangle. Transverse ridge, a union of two triangular ridges crossing transversely the occlusal surface of posterior tooth. Now, uh, this one is a, a buccal triangular ridge and this is a palatal triangular ridge. As these two ridges are crossing the tooth surface in a transverse direction, that's why collectively the buccal and the palatal triangular ridges will be known as a transverse ridge. Oblique ridge. It is a union of two triangular ridges crossing the occlusal surface of molars obliquely. Permanent maxillary first molar. Here you can see this is one triangular ridge. That is a basically a distal buccal cusp, the distal triangular ridge, and this one is a mesiolingual cusp. So the union of these two triangular ridge, distal buccal triangular ridge and mesiolingual triangular ridge, form an oblique ridge. So this ridge is an oblique ridge. A fossa is an irregular depression or concavity. This is a permanent maxillary central incisor. This is a lingual surface. Here you can see there is a depression or concavity known as fossa and this fossa is known as the lingual fossa. So this fossa is known as the lingual fossa. Permanent mandibular first molar. Here you can see this is the occlusal surface. So this central area, there's a rough, there's a depression, and that depression, irregular depression, is the is known as the central fossa. On the mesial side, you can see there's a depression on the mesial side. Irregular depression. This depression is known as the mesial triangular fossa. A similar depression is in this a small depression is in this area and that depression is known as the distal triangular fossa so this is a central fossa mesial triangular fossa and distal triangular fossa groove a shallow line between the primary parts of the crown or the root in this molar at the bottom of the sulcus you can see a developmental groove known as the central developmental groove from the central developmental grooves there are other grooves that are emerging for example these are the two buccal grooves this is a lingual groove these are the buccal grooves 
This is a lingual grooves. There are a few ad additional grooves that are known as the supplemental grooves. Here you can see these smaller grooves and these grooves are known as the supplementary grooves. Pits. Uh, these are the pinpoint depressions located at the junctions or terminals of the developmental grooves. Here you can see this is the central developmental groove. In the center you can see this is a pit sometimes referred as a central pit this is a mesial pit and this pit is known as the distal pit